when i last created a video i thought i should be consistent but we all know promises are never kept right i had this idea where i saw some awesome animation that wasn't on youtube i was being lazy and after a few days hyperplex uploaded that video and i was like damn i watched the video and i thought i could make this simpler but by simple i means like we can have some trade offs right that's how actually things work i opened vs code and started to code let's focus on what we need first first we need a trailing effect and some random shapes falling from it since i learned about gravitation in my class 8 i know gravity is actually real man inside my html i just had to type one letter and i have a starting template and thanks to emmet we don't need fancy things here all we need is just a canvas with a class and id inside the css there are just some random styles that i just copied from chat gpt we have some styles for trailing and we also added a blur for the smoothness and some simple animation Now let's begin with some actual coding. We put everything inside an event listener so that only after the DOM content is loaded our animation will work. We do the usual steps to target the canvas and set its width. Now we have an event listener which calls the add confetto on trail function on mouse move. I know I hate naming things but it's not like I am getting paid for this. All right, let's now add the add confetto on trail function. It is triggered every time the mouse moves across the canvas, but what does it actually do? Let's now look into that. First, we are keeping track of the mouse last position with the last mouse x and last mouse y to calculate the mouse velocity. We want our confetti to react to how fast or slow you are moving the cursor. It, it's all about making the animation feels like it's connected to your actions. When the mouse moves the event listener calls the add confetto and trail passing the event object the object contains the current position e dot client x for the horizontal x and e dot client y for the vertical y direction we calculate the mouse velocity by subtracting the last recorded position from the current given one giving us the mouse velocity x and mouse velocity y these values tells us how fast and in which direction the mouse is actually moving We are not just using the raw velocity here we add a bit of randomness to make our confetti spread out more naturally as if they are tossed in the air this randomness is achieved by adding a random offset to the mouse velocity giving each piece of confetti its own little push as it comes to life we create a new confetto object at the current mouse position using the calculated velocity this is what creates the effect of confetti bursting out from where the mouse moves let's now add the confetto class i am not fancy about the classes but classes makes our code more organized in the constructor we initialize each confetto with parameters like x and y for position velocity x and velocity y for their movement the size of each confetto is random making our animation more dynamic and realistic after all in real shower of confetti no two pieces are exactly the same size right colors are another important aspect here we are sticking to a palette of white and light pink for the simplicity the color for each confetto is randomly chosen from this array you could easily expand this array to include more colors for a more festive effect now let's talk about physics each confetto has its own velocity gravity and drag making our confetti behave like it would in real world gravity pulls it down while the drag slows it down simulating air resistance oh my god we are so excellent in physics The draw method is where the actual visual magic happens. We draw each confetto as a shape with spikes, kind of like a little star. By altering the number of spikes and the linear and the outer radius, you can create various shapes. Finally, the update method. This is what animates our confetto over time. We adjust the position based on the velocity, apply gravity, and reduce the size over time. The time to leave property ensures that each confetto gradually fades away, preventing our screens from getting overcrowded. We got our cool confetti animation, but we less some. thing out we need the trail right let's create an element and set its position using the mouse position now whenever the mouse moves we have a trail element but this will make our screen crowded you might not see it since we set the animation property to make the opacity as zero but you can inspect and see the trail element in the documentary let's also remove some trails once they hit a threshold here whenever the trail element's length is greater than 40 we will just remove the element and that's how we do it This feels like too much but we are actually HTML programmers right and we could do this all day that's a wrap I